Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about absolute value equations, and we're going to solve each equation. So if I was given this equation, 4 times n plus 8 in absolute value equals 56. Remember, that's multiplication right there, the 4 absolute value of n plus 8. And so opposite multiplication is division, divide both sides by 4, I need to isolate that absolute value. 4 is eliminate, leaving me with absolute value of n plus 8 equals 56 divided by 4, which is 14. Now be careful. A lot of times students will just get rid of the absolute value here. Not yet. That's the next step, right? So when they divide, they're like, oh, I don't need it anymore. They just get rid of it. No. Now, we, our next step gets rid of the absolute value by breaking this apart into two equations, right? Uh, the absolute value is isolated, so now we can separate this out. So we're left with n plus 8 equals positive 14, and n plus 8 equals a negative 14, okay? So now I have to solve each equation individually. I subtract from 8 to both sides, leaving me with n by itself here, 14 minus 8 being 6, and then negative 14 minus 8 is a more negative number, and not n, n, so n equals negative 14 minus 8, which is a negative 22. And so our final answer is n equals negative 22 and positive 6. So we're right from least to greatest because that's nice and neater. So let's recap. We started with the absolute value, I'm sorry, 4 times the absolute value of n plus 8 equals 56. To isolate the uh, absolute value, I divided both sides by 4. Cancel on the left, leaving with the absolute value of n plus 8 on the left. Isolated, which is important, equals 56 divided by 4, which is 14. From there, all right, from there I can break apart the absolute value into two equations. I have n plus 8 equals a positive 14, and n plus 8 equals a negative 14. Solve each individually, and I got final answers of n equals 6, and n equals a negative 22, and both of them was the same step, just subtracting 8 to both sides. So now, now I have my two answers to write it nice and neatly. I rewrite them from least to greatest. So my final answer here is n equals a negative 22 and a positive 6. 